Hey guys, I am Touch Boy and welcome to my one tape review. Today we are reviewing the Doctor Who Christmas special, The Husbands of River Song. So the basic summary of my sort of view of the Husbands of River Song is that if the first 40 minutes are a mad dash adventure where you wait. Rewind. There are spoilers in this. <laughs> Fast forward. What was I saying? My basic summary is basically the first 40 minutes is that you sort of you're on a mad run, you're on a rom com, it's kinda crazy, it's kinda fun. You know, the Doctor's playing the games, you know, sort of, River Song doesn't know that it's the Doctor because she thinks he only got 11 faces and he's like, oh no, actually, this is my 12th one, you don't actually recognise it. And it's it's a really, 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 really sort of fun, fun adventure. And then the last 20 minutes, boom, 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 dead. Because I tell you what, the moment she said Derillium, I went, a billion sides were going, oh, hell no. 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 Because what I think is so sort of brilliant about the character of River Song is that you know she can always come back for separate adventures, but this time she can't. Especially not with this Doctor anyway, because, or any other Doctor in the future, because she doesn't recognise him. Which means they finally reach the point where she doesn't know any further Doctors, and we can only go in a linear timeline to the Doctors. So unless she appears in a Christmas special where she gets a mind wiped or something, like in this anniversary or something, we'll never see River Song again. My top three characters, I only do three for TV shows, five for t films. Uh, um, my top three TV characters, uh, I've got to say in, in third place was Matt Lucas. He did an amazing job in the role. And though he only got limited screen time, which I was surprised at. I thought he'd be like a semi-companion, but he wasn't. He was more a companion to River than he was to the Doctor. And he was quite quickly sidelined halfway through. But he did keep coming back for recurring bits. But it was still a pretty decent role for him to have. Um, yes, well, look at the hair, it's awful. <laughs> I've been ill. I feel like shit. Excuse me. <laughs> in second place, I have to give it to the Twelfth Doctor. Um, I know, but it's Doctor Who, surely the Twelfth Doctor isn't including in Doctor Who. Well, yes, he is, actually. Because I like him. <laughs> he did an amazing job, especially my favourite scene ever, which I will come to in a little bit. But um, you all know what I'm talking about, and the way he played it was amazing. Perhaps not my favourite scene of the episode, but my, one of my favourite scenes of him anyway. And in number one place, I have to give it to River Song. She did what no one thought she could do. She came back, she made it fresh, she made it hip, she made it happening. We've had two good River Song stories in a row now, The Name of the Doctor and um, The Husbands of River Song. Perhaps we could actually say Angels Take Manhattan as well, because she was pretty good in that. Um, so yeah, three in a row are not bad. <laughs> We're looking at you, season six. You disappoint me. Moving on, my honourable mention goes to her other husband whose name I did not bother to remember. But, um, did you just keep so I could see why she was doing it? In my top five moments. Yeah. Seriously, what is going on with my hair? Ah, this is why it's a one rotate review. Because <laughs> you get all this fun shit as well. In my top five moments, you have a number fifth. Place. Number fifth, because that's how I say it when I'm trying to think. <laughs> number in number five, I would say that my first, the favourite moment for me, um, is got to be the bit where it zooms in, and it's like a, it's all basically very clever director, um, directing directory. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it sort of reminded me of Disney a little bit, and then it zooms in on the spaceship. I'm thinking, now this ain't Disney, and then it zooms out and it goes through the Christmas lights and it goes down and then just sat there perfectly as Christmas carolers will be criticised. <laughs> Because they should, and I usually just go, get out of here. That's cute. And I'll be like, sup? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, so that is my top fifth moment. Just the directing of that scene. I know it was all like computer graphics and everything, but it looked bang on. In my top fourth place, a top fourth? I need to work on my words. In the fourth place, I have the Doctor and River get teleported out of the spaceship and onto the ground where the Doctor starts laughing about the bag in the head. And it's so nice to see the Doctor laughing for once after everything that's happened with Clara. And I also like the way that you sort of realise that he's still sad. But because he can't remember Clara, it sort of makes it easier for him as a character to sort of progress and move on. You know, and Clara could always come back one day. Make it happen. <laughs> Um, number three, I will have to give my third favourite moment to Derillion. When they, not when they search Derillion, no, 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 when he spots, when they spot the spacecraft on Derillion, and it's, pans out, and you, and, and she's like, oh my god, that's Derillion, I know that planet, because I just sat there and went, <laughs> but it ain't so. 
say it ain't so. In number two place, the Doctor walks in the TARDIS and realises it's bigger on the inside. What an amazing moment. My God! How awesome was that? It was so, 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 so cool. Um, just to see the Doctor playing it so brilliantly. And I also love that we find out what the round things are really for. In at number one is a tie, because I couldn't decide again, and I usually tie number ones anyway. Um, so the first one is River Song's speech to the crew of the ship. When he, she's like, and the Doctor would never, and then she just turns and he's there and he's like, hello sweetie, and she's like, bollocks. Oh, how embarrassing would that be? But yet, yeah, poetically brilliant, and I loved it. Uh, but I think edging it slightly for number one place um, in the battle of number one is um, got to be the final scene with Drillium. And I love the fact, and I saw some other reactions, and you see some people get it and some people don't get it, what you say. When he's like, and then there's a song when the monolith, and he's all about the monolith, and he says, and when you need it most, there's a song. And he's talking about him, and when he needs her most, she's there. Um, because she's River Song. Um, so if you didn't get that, go back and watch it, because that's what he's on about. He's on about him being the monolith and how the song is her playing through him and that you know in his own way he does love her the way she loves him and I think he does really love her to be honest have I got any negatives no no it wasn't perfect don't get me wrong um, it was a strangely paced story it was nowhere near a classic but it was a fun romp and that's all I want for Christmas so I'm not gonna point out any negatives yes there were some but it's Christmas and I was drunk and eh, I wasn't really that drunk I did get really high off sweets though and I think that made me so ill yesterday I'm norovirus. Mm. <laughs> Honourable mention for the funniest moment, before I get into the funniest moment, I think it's got to be Matt Lucas in every scene he did. Seriously. When it, I think my favourite bit was like, I don't like flagging. He's like, well, you should probably close your eyes. And then he just shoots up in the air. And it's like, poor Matt Lucas. Um, but number one for my funniest moment has got to be, without a doubt, I'm cross. Put your arms down. I'm cross. I would have included the whole um, Doctor in the Tides thing. But, um, obviously I used that already. Um, so yeah, it was like, I'm cross. And he's like, no, put your arms in. I'm like, but my arms are cross. <laughs> just, it's just a really funny moment. Out of ten, I'd give this a seven out of ten. It, in Christmas standards, it was a ten out of ten for me. But all the Christmas specials are ten out of tens for me. Except the Doctor, the Widow, and the Wardrobe, because... Just, no. <laughs> Thank you for watching very much, guys. A perfect episode if you're high on Christmas spirit. And an average to good episode if you're not. Thank you for watching, and I do love you all. See you tomorrow.